day has changed my life. Every single place it could change, it has changed. And for those of you who don't know, I was literally homeless for a year and a half on the streets, living out of a car with my two boys. And life was very, very difficult. There were so many other things. And I felt like everything was coming down on me. Like I had no control over anything. I didn't know how I could change anything in my life. And then my friend, Scott Kloster, who you see on here live, because he knows the value of these classes too, introduced me to Robert Hollis. And from that day forward, it has changed my life because he, he just shared his wisdom with me. He shared all of his, the, the knowledge, the training, the master classes, the events, the everything that he's ever done, including writing this best-selling book that gave me so much inspiration. Now, I was at a desperate place in my life, so that's really where I was coming from, but I was inspired by Robert's rags to riches story. I was inspired by knowing that I had options to change my life, and I could not be more grateful, more thankful, um, and just love this man any more than I do. It is my honor and my pleasure to introduce to you the man who's changed so many lives, not just mine, but so many lives. And if you take notes and apply what he teaches you today, he's going to change your life too. So everybody, let's give it up for the incredible, the wonderful, the amazing Mr. Robert Hollis. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Can you guys hear me? Okay. Okay. Well, thank you, Melody, so much. I just, you just light me up, man. It's just like, <laughs> there's nothing funner in the world than to, you know, get wisdom and knowledge from people that changed my life. And then I attract other people and share that wisdom and they get amazing results in every area of their life. And then give me an introduction like that. So I wish and pray to each and every one of you that one day you get somebody to introduce you like that. <laughs> How many people think that that would be a neat thing? Um, so Melody, I know that Amy wanted to surprise you. So, you know, you see Amy on there, yeah. So Scott, thank you very much, I appreciate it. And I see Tiffany on here. I'm trying to see if there's some other new people that, uh, Deborah, hi Deborah. nice, nice to see you. Um, so I'm trying to look to see if there are any new people on here. I know that there's some people that have been here that are new. Um, Craig, can you tell me if we're streaming and, um, and the, uh, we're streaming. Thank you, Chelsea. We are streaming. Real good to go. So Chelsea and, and Craig and is our, our co-host. They're asking, they're helping us out here. And so what I'm going to do right now is share with you what I posted in the group is documentation beats conversation. Wow. You know, uh, I haven't talked about this in a long, long time. And I hope that some of you, when I mention this stuff, um, I hope that it opens up your mind. I think that people need to be reminded about it almost on a daily basis. I remind myself on a daily basis. And so the concept of documentation based conversation came from a multi-billionaire that was a mentor of mine named Roger Penske. Now, if you look up Roger Penske, um, the guy's not only a billionaire, but he's won the Indianapolis, the great American race, right? The Indianapolis 500 is won, I believe, 17 times with 11 different drivers. So just let that sink into your head a little bit. It's not that he knows how to win championships. He knows how to win races, but he does it over and 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 over. Did I say that? And over and over. Well, then he takes that same formula. Listen closely. He takes that same formula and he does it in Indy racing, formula racing, NASCAR racing, infinity racing, boats, anything that's got a freaking motor. 
and he knows how to take people that are good drivers. He knows how to take good crew chiefs. He knows how to take good mechanics and he knows how to create teams. And he's not only so good at it, he creates teams to, con to compete with his teams. So when I worked for him, there was a, a guy named uh, um, Rick Mears, Danny Sullivan, and Emerson Fildopaldi. And when I worked for him, not only did when we go to Indianapolis, all three of our cars finished one, two, and three. So when they went out, Danny hit pole, Emerson number two, Rick Mears number three. So when they do this parade lap around the Indianapolis, they do it three wide, all three of his cars were one, two, three. Would anybody want to guess what they finished the race as? First, second, and third. So would you guys say that when he said to me, you know, documentation beats conversation. There was some lessons that I wanna share with you guys that are billion dollar piece of information and they're short, short, short statements. Now, when I got into the marketing world, I brought that with me, documentation beats conversation. Now, for some of you that don't know this, this little plaque here, is a U.S. patent and trademark from the United States government that documentation beats conversation is my trademark. Now, have you guys heard other people use my name and my trademark? Interesting, huh? <laughs> now, I don't want to put together a legal team to go out and stop them from using it because I think it's pretty funny. I come from a place of abundance. So the more people use my name, the more okay I am. <laughs> so I've been using this phrase for 31 years when I came into network marketing and home-based businesses, because if you're willing to show your documentation, then it's, then it's that, right? So me, I had a lot of stuff in my head that wasn't by accident that when I went into the marketing world, I was seeking out a mentor that would document their success. Why? Because I learned that from a billionaire, Roger Penske. So every time that I would say something, he would say some pretty harsh stuff. So I would say to him, hey, I have an idea. And he'd go, great, take a cold shower. I'm like, well, that's not very nice. He goes, Robert, what did you make last year? Well, I made, you know, 48,000. And he says, listen, I made 3.2 billion. Do me a favor, try to control your thoughts Follow a proven path and just do that path. I promise you, if you do that path, you're going to get amazing results and you're going to realize that your ideas are not such great ideas. Now, how many people you think is that hard to hear? See, because we grow up in the world today and it's worse where now you get a trophy just for participating. Now, now, now you get a pat on the back for just fricking showing up. I came from a world that if you show up at the racetrack and you don't qualify, you put your car on the trailer and you fricking go home. <laughs> the world I come from is all results oriented. So I'm gonna share something with you guys. When my wife asked me to, uh, and for those of you that haven't gone to documentationbeastconversation.com, um, right now I'm recruiting a bunch of top players. And the very first thing that I do is I go, I send them documentationbeastconversation.com. They go there and they come back and they're different people. 
because most people say that, well, I think I'm better than you and my upline's better than you. And I learned from this guy and I learned from this guy and I learned from this guy. I think it's hilarious. And again, don't get mad at me. I think it's hilarious when people tell me what they're currently doing and who they learn from and they still have no results. Why would you brag about that? Um, I just wanted to let you guys know that, you know, Floyd Mayweather started his own gym and he's my boxing coach. Oh my God, that's amazing. How many fights have you won? None. Um, not impressive. So people use names. Hey, I'm learning under this guy. All right. My upline was this guy or I know this guy. Well, great. Can you back that up with some results? So when I decided to help my wife out and find a company, how many people just noticed that Jenna Zweigel just posted her back office? Oh my God. So my wife was saying, and she was with a previous company, and they said, oh my God, this guy's been with the company for 14 years. Uh, he just went over $2 million in earnings. Blah, 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 blah. Jenna's 31 years old and she made 2.4 million in the last three and a half years. So how many people do you think if you went to your upline or any other person that tells you an expert and say, oh, I see you're teaching network marketing. I see you're teaching marketing. I, I see you're doing this. I see you're doing this. Can you just quickly do a Zoom with me and log into your back office and let me see your back office? Oh, no, I, I, I'm not doing that. See, why do people listen to people that are not documented? Can someone help me with this? I, I don't get it. I never came from the world of that. I, it, I, you know, have, how many people have ever heard the phrase common sense? It should be called uncommon sense. The reason that only 5% of the people in the United States of America, the wealthiest country per capita in the world, why only 5% of the people Google it. I'm a fax maniac. So you can check out the IRS and our census and only 5% of the people in the United States make over 250 grand. Now I'm not saying that money is everything. I'm just saying it's really close to oxygen. Okay, so it really makes a difference of the choices that I get to make every day. It allows me to make a decision of how much money I get to give to children in orphanages. It allows me to make a decision of how many children are going to get fitted this year with a hearing aid that have never heard before in their lives. It allows me to do things, and that's it. Money is only a tool. So if some of you want to learn how to be do this and be successful of it, you got to stop listening to two groups of people. You ready? Make a big note. I will stop listening to the following people. One, undocumented people. Now, I'm gonna give you a phrase of what I'm calling documentation now. Documentation doesn't mean that you are making money. So example, if every one of you right now wanted to learn to dance, it starts with a decision. I'm, you know what? I'm, I'm tired of saying this. I'm going to learn how to dance. Now, the next step is to find a dance instructor. There's two kinds. People that win the mirror ball trophy. Some people are amazing dancers. And they got awards. Good people. Great inspiration. Awesome inspiration. If they did it, I can do it, right? If they can dance, I can dance. Here's the one you want to find. You want to find a person that when people walk up to them and say, 
Amy, wow, you're an amazing dancer. Well, thank you. Who taught you? Melody. See, I want to find the person that taught the people that win the awards. Now, this is not taught in school. Do you guys notice that our school, our environment, our culture scape is based around being competitive? So people really are messed up because if they see someone else succeed, they don't take the shortcut, but everyone's looking for a shortcut. But no one takes a shortcut. Are you guys listening? What's the shortcut? To walk up to a person that is a top position in your company and saying, hey, who'd you learn from? If you wanna compete with somebody, why wouldn't you wanna find exactly the same person that taught them? Now, let's get out of home-based business and entrepreneurship. Because if you go into athlete, athletics, has anyone heard of, of Michael Jordan, Shaquille O'Neal, Kobe Bryant? Does anybody know what they all have in common? Phil Jackson. <laughs> so wait a minute, just like Roger Penske, Phil Jackson became a coach, was the coach for the Bulls, and then helped Michael Jordan, Scottie Pittman, Dennis Rodman, win multiple world championships and MVPs, and then he takes a break? And then he comes back for the Lakers and he teaches Shaquille O'Neal. You got it? And Kobe Bryant, how to win MVPs and world championships. The common thing is the coach. Now, if you guys don't think that this works, does anybody know who the coach is of the team that won the world championship last year? The Golden State Warriors? Does anybody know who the coach is? Carlos, who's the coach? The coach is Steve Kerr. Do you know what Steve Kerr did before he became a head coach? He won the championship several times with the Chicago Bulls. And who was his coach? Bill Jackson. <laughs> oh my God! You mean there's actually lineages that you guys can follow? So do you know what record, Carlos, that he broke that the Bulls had? If I remember correctly, <clears throat> it was the three-pointers, three, uh, three pointers, like as many X number of three-pointers in, in an NBA, NBA championship game. He also broke the world records of the Bulls of 72 games won in a season. Oh, yeah, 72 and 10. That's right. So the, the record that was broke was the Bulls, and they had 71 or 72, and they now, you know, the Warriors have 73. So the coach of the Golden State Warriors broke the record of the team that he was on. He was on the team that broke the record or set the record. Are you guys getting this? And so a lot of people struggle in network marketing. They struggle with entrepreneurship. They struggle with figuring this out. Oh my God, I'm doing all these things and they're just not working. Could you do me a favor? Could you find someone that's documented in helping other people succeed? Because there's two groups of people, right? There's people that can hit 5K or hit director, hit executive, hit 10K. And those are awesome people. They're amazing people. They just might not know how to teach somebody else to get there. So there's two things that you got to learn in this industry. One is learn the skills to hit 5K. But how many people would think that if you learn the skills how to help someone hit 5K, which one's better? Because if you want to go 25K, all you need is five legs of a 5K person. No, you don't need 5K. 
you could have one leg and two legs and have a 5K with another 5K with another 5K. You got all these combinations. So the, the point is, it would be okay to be a Michael Jordan or a Kobe Bryant, but I'm asking you to learn to be a Phil Jackson. Now, I don't want to get into the weirdness of this, but Phil Jackson graduated from the same high school I did. <laughs> so, you know, so you might see some neat lineages where every time I want to do something, I find someone that's taught other people how to win awards at that. Now, here's where the miracle comes from. And I see Tiffany smiling. It's like some people are getting like, hey, pop, pop, pop. Here's what I knew about my mentor. He not only made 62 grand a month at the time, but at that time he helped 22 people hit the 25K position. Isn't that amazing? So I knew he was a national marketing director, top position in the company, and he helped other people get to 25K. So what's the chances of him helping me become 25K? So I listened to him, nobody else. I hope some of you got that because what's the second group of people I don't listen to? Me, me. Dino, right? All these voices in my head. Well, maybe I should do this and maybe I should do that. And if I try this and I try that, maybe if I try this, maybe if I buy this course, maybe if I do a little bit of this and a little bit of that, and a little bit of this and a little bit of that and do all this Frankenstein business. Am I getting some of you? So I kept asking my mentor, I want to get to 25K. Tell me what to do. And he goes, Robert, here's the only thing you got to do. I said, I'm listening. He goes, you got to connect with brand new people. Did you notice I didn't say talk, Robert? I said, you got to connect with new people. And you got to edify and promote me in the system. And get those people in front of me and my videos in my system. I said, what else do I got to do? He goes, nothing. I will tell them what to do. I will show them how to upgrade. I will show them exactly how to hit 5K. Well, uh, uh, can you get people to 5K? Yeah, I've gotten 37 people to 5K already. I got one person at 100K, two at 50K. Yeah, I think I got this. Now, some of you are going, yeah, but those people were already successful before they came here. Yes, and in my training, I teach how to find them. But they don't want to work with you because you're not documented. So as long as you keep being the deal, they're elusive. Me, I was smart. I walked up to people, Hey, Bruce, how you doing? I don't know, Bruce. So let me change it. Hi, I'm Robert Hollis. And your name? Uh, Bruce. Hi, Bruce. Listen, I was wondering if you could help me out. With what? I'm expanding a company right now. And I'm working with a guy <laughs> that is making over $100,000 a month, $300,000 a month. And they're expanding this company in a billion dollar industry and they're looking for people that they can work with. Well, what is this? Why are you interested? Well, it depends on what it is. Bruce, you're gonna crack up. The guys that I'm working with, they put together a free Facebook group with all the documentation and training and everything. Documentation of their checks, documentation of the training, their, their documentation of the product, documentation of every single thing they put in a group. And they say, I can add you to the group for free just to check it out. Wow. So can I add you to the group? Sure. They even got free training in there. You wouldn't believe this crazy guy, Robert Hollis. He's helped 54 people make over a million dollars a year. Nine of them 
Nine of them own their own companies. He's been doing this for 31 years and he's got his training in there for free. And you'll never believe why he's giving this training away. Why? It's because he's helping out his wife. And he's run his wife from 5K, 10K, 25K, 50K, 100K to 250K, made over $100,000 in the last six months. And he's giving this stuff away. He shows you exactly how he took 37 people to 60 some rank advancements. It's all there for free. The trainings are free. Oh my God. Even, even if you don't do this, Bruce, the amount of information that you're going to get in there and training is going to be amazing. He charges people $25,000, $100,000 for this information. You get it for free. Great. Add them to the group. As soon as you add them to the group, you go, Bruce, listen, start going through the units, a lot of information in there. And as you go through the units, Bruce, they're going to ask you to take a free tour. Robert's going to say, get back with the person that invited you to the group and take a free tour. Here's the link to the free tour. And you put your link. And all you wait for is the email. And when the email comes, then what you do is you take video six and you click on it in Vision Team, click on share, send it in a private message to their Facebook Messenger. Now, there's only one other thing that happens. They either watch the videos or they don't. And if they ask questions, you want to find the video in the group that you can promote them to. Well, I don't know what CBD is. Hey, let me type into search. What is CBD? My video pops up. You share it in Messenger. Well, what about the comp plan? Oh, comp plan, search, bring up Josh, Josh's video, share it with them. Well, does this product really work? Oh my God, watch this Dateline clip. Type and search Dateline, share it, private message, go over. Well, what's the difference between your CBD and other people? <gasps> difference in CBD, there's Jenna, share it in the messenger. And you do this all day, as much as you can, as fast as you can. Did you guys catch this? Th this is as simple as it is. When you listen to yourself and other people that are not documented at getting people to the top positions, no results. Now, let me ask you one more question here. Where in any place else can people get away with taking people's money without any documentation? Do you guys know there's bad doctors out there? There's bad lawyers out there. There's bad salespeople out there. There's bad people in network marketing. So what's that phrase? Someone can help me with this. I deliberately want you guys to think about it. But it's on the $1 bill. And it's comp, what is, what, what, what's the phrase? Does anyone want to raise their hand and tell me? Copier, pervor, or? E pluribus unum? I mean, buyer beware? What? Why, why does the world say that you should be buyer beware? Because there's a lot of bad people out there. Oh, I know what to do. There's a group of people that will tell you what to do and they've never done it. I don't know what the hell this character fly is, but it's a huge one. So you pull in, you know, Tiffany pulls in with her car, goes, Robert, you know what? There's something wrong with my car. And I go, great, let me look at it. Oh, okay. No one goes, well, wait, Robert, before you look at my car, what the hell do you know about cars? <laughs> See, no one does this like, well, let me look at it. How many of you guys have ever seen an individual when there's a problem with the car and the person says, well, let me find how to open up the hood. And so they go out there and they open up the hood and they look in it and they go, yeah, I don't know. No crap. 
Why did you even open up the hood? You don't know what the hell you're doing. But there's this one personality, believe it or not, that is in a lot of people that they just want to be the deal, man. They are freaking clueless, but they're like, hey, I'll tell you what to do. So Bill Gates says one of the best quotes out there. He says, listen, if you're currently struggling and broke and unhappy and dissatisfied and unfulfilled, unhealthy, you can blame anyone you want. But now that you know how to get the right information, now it's on you. You see that? So you're okay to be ignorant before this video. But now I'm telling you where to find the right information. So now when Tiffany pulls up, she could change the whole thing by walking up and goes, Robert, I, I got a question to ask you. Sure. Who do you know that knows a lot about cars? Why? I have something wrong with my car. Now, I don't know if you guys know this, but I'm a certified ASC Master Automotive Technician. I work for Roger Penske. 31 years ago. Does anybody really think I still work on my own cars? No. The information that I knew about a mechanic, being a mechanic, was is 31 years old. So I'd say, Tiffany, listen, I used to be a mechanic. I know what questions to ask. Let me find you a good mechanic. Did you guys catch that? So immediately, I'm just going to go, Tiffany, you need to go to somebody that I know that can help you. Why don't people do that in network marketing and home-based business? That would be amazing if people would do that. So it's like, Tiffany, listen, I, I'm jumping in HempWorks, uh, MDC. I need to retire my husband. I, I want to get out of my job and I, I need to make six grand a month. Six grand a month. Can you tell me what to do? Uh, Tiffany, I've never made six grand a month. No, I can't. Wouldn't that be freaking awesome if everyone would just say that? Because we would listen to them. Tiffany, I think that maybe you should learn from Robert Hollis. I think you should learn from Jenna Zegwell, Zwegel. You know what I mean? I think, I think you should listen to somebody that has taught other people how to make six grand a month. See, some of you are shaking your head, but you do the exact opposite. <laughs> if I asked you right now who you are following exactly to the T, it would be nobody. How do I know that? Your results. So I want to share one more thing with you that I think is hilarious. When I learned to do a brake job on a car, back in the olden days, it was drums. Had brake shoes and a drum, right? Then all of a sudden, all of a sudden, it became disc brakes. Once I learned the certain way how to do a brake job, I then was good at doing brake jobs on virtually every car. Little bit of differences here and there. And I learned shortcuts. After I did it the right way, then I learned shortcuts from other people that had experience. So I could do a brake job in like two hours. Then I was able to do a brake job in an hour. Then I was able to do a brake job in a half hour. Now I got special tools. I knew exactly what I needed to do and I got paid two hours on a job that I could do in a half hour. It's called flat rate. That's how much money I made as a mechanic. So I got better and better and better at doing a job that I already knew how to do. Did you guys catch that? Who do you think I learned how to do a brake job from? Someone that knew how to do a brake job. Ha! Just, man, it's, see, I, I hope that you guys are getting this because it, 
It's so disturbing to me to see people struggle in network marketing. There's absolutely no reason for it. Because if you follow people that get immediate results and some people are going, how does someone jump into this and hit 5K in three days? I'd wanna learn from that person. <laughs> Wait a minute. Did they help somebody else hit 5K? Oh yeah, they showed other people how to hit 5K in their first week. I wanna do that. I wanna do that. Okay, so what should you do first? Um, I don't know. Y yeah, you do. You need to find out who helps people go to 5K and say, if I want to go to 5K, what video should I watch? And I'd be doing nothing but mastering that video. I would watch it over and over and over and over and over. What would I do? The only things in the video. And I would just keep getting gooder and gooder and gooder and gooder and gooder. I hope this is popping for some of you. And do I have a lot of distractions? Yeah. Oh my God, Robert, have you heard of solo ads? And have you heard of this? And you could create a funnel. And have you heard of Instagram? And have you tried some stuff on Twitter? You know, and, and you know, have you thought about walking out the streets and slapping people? They say, you know, as, as long as they're in three feet, you know, you need to be, do, do, you know, I've been looking for a phone booth. Why are you looking for a phone booth? Well, I listened to a training, you know, from Larry Thompson. He's been in the industry for 50 years. And he said he used to do appointments for phone booths. I'm sure he did when there was no cell phones. <laughs> I'm sure he did. He was one of my uplines at one time. Now, there's a lot of stuff that I used to do that I no longer do because I'm learning from new people. When I see people like, you know, Emily Barfield, you know, she's not only hit 50K, her and Kurt, but now she helped another person hit 10K and promoted a person today that hit 5K. She's 27 years old. Oh, wait a minute. Josh, the owner of this company is 27 years old. I think that they might be doing stuff different to attract people that are okay with social media. And there's other people that are out there. That's why I did that funny post to see who would re respond to it. I get people that send me messages on Facebook and say, hey, can you jump on the phone and talk to me for a little bit? <laughs> We're on Facebook Messenger. <laughs> it's like, what? It's like, it's like pulling, up, pulling up in my Rolls Royce and then you rolling, you go like this to tell me to roll down my window. And I roll down my window and you say, hey, listen, is there any way we can jump on a tricycle together? No, no. You know what I mean? And it's like, well, you know, I still like old school. Eyeball to eyeball, belly button to belly button. I go, I use Zoom. I can see your eyeballs. I don't need my belly button touching yours. You know, let's just do the eyeball to eyeball thing. So people love it because I go, listen, I'll do a Zoom with you really quick. And they go, really awesome. I go, what do you like about the video in the tour? Uh, what video in the tour? You haven't taken a tour yet? No, I haven't. Listen, do you know that Tom Cruise just came out with a new movie? another Mission Impossible 18, I think it is. I don't even remember what it is, right? It's like, yeah, yeah, I heard he came out with a new movie. Listen, watch the movie. And when you get done watching the movie, then you and I will have something to discuss. I don't like watching videos. Then this is not for you. Hey, listen, can you do me a huge favor? What? Do you know of anyone right now that would like to get into a billion dollar industry? and help people become well and healthy at the same time. This company is expanding, we're looking for great people. Um, I would, no, you're not. 
You can't follow instructions. Anybody that can't go and watch a video, if I if I figured out how much damn TV time you spent in the last week, it would make me sick. So this is not a priority for you right now. And that's okay. A majority of the people that I run into have more things to do than be successful and happy and healthy. Well, what are you going to do if I refer you to someone? I'm going to ask them to go through the units and I'm going to ask them to go through the tour. Yeah, but the videos are too long. Like I said, this is not for you. <laughs> this is not for you. I'm looking for people that are so sick and tired of being sick and tired that watching a couple of videos are not a problem. They want out. You know what I mean? I need my life to be better. I don't want to live like this anymore. What videos do I need to watch? <laughs> so I hope you guys got that. So to finish up this video, I know that you guys will see it posted in Vision Team. And if not, go to my wall. But look at Jenna's video. So here's the two things that I want you guys to hear. Please listen. When I decided to find a company, I was telling my wife, you need to find somebody that are more concerned about helping their people hit rank advances than them. And so when I found Jenna, post, post. If you guys went to Jenna's page, even if you're not her friend, and scroll and see Rank advancement, rank advancement, rank advancement, rank advancement, rank advancement, rank advancement. You know, she's not only a super affiliate, she now has three super affiliates under her. One 500K person and six 250K people. Um, yeah, yeah, I want to learn what is Jenna doing? That's what I want to do. I want to do what Jenna's doing. Did anyone click yet? Because some of you are going, well, I want to know what Jen is doing. Watch how stupid I am. You guys think I'm really stupid, right? So once I find out that Jen is back office, she shows it to me, right? And when she shows me her back office that week, she made $159,000. The best week I've ever had was $73,000. So as soon as I sign up, share the link with Melody. Melody goes 5K, 10K, 25K. Janessa goes 5K. See what I mean? All of a sudden I'm going, okay, this is working. The very next thing that I did is I said, Jenna, would you do me a huge favor? She goes, anything. I, can, I said, can I do a training with you for my group? Of course. Video recorded it, stuck it in the group. And people were like, I wonder what Jenna's doing. And I go, well, what'd you think of the video? Well, I don't have time to make it through the units. And I'm going like, wow, 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 wow. So what they do all day is they do stuff that they think they should do. And then they're looking for the next shiny thing, right? There's got to be a way of doing this. And everyone knows. So they're like, oh my God, Tiffany, if you tried out this new thing, all you got to do is give me your money. I'll build the group for you. Just give me, and oh, 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 okay. And you should listen to this coach and you should listen to this coach and try out this person. Did you see what this person's doing? Do you see what this person's doing? What about this person? You know what my upline used to tell me? Did you check out this? Did you? And then I hear from Tiffany, hey, Tiffany, how's things going? You know, I'm really confused. I, I'm super confused. I'm overwhelmed. There's just so much information. Do you guys find this a good training? It's like, so, so I'll show you where most people don't understand me because I'm the Phil Jack Jackson. I'm not the player. I'm the coach. So I know that people freaked out today when they seen that I took Jenna's post, which let's, let's just look at it really quick. 
Okay, share screen. Can you guys see that okay? Okay, so yes, how much is, Okay, so how much did she make last week? Sixty, sixty-five, sixty-seven. Can you guys see that okay? If you can't, tell me. Yes, we can see it. Okay, so what'd you make in the last 30 days? Almost 299,000. How much, Craig? Almost 200, almost 300,000. 298,930 dollars. Now, see, I know there's a lot of people in the company and people will say, oh, my God, did you see what this person's doing? Oh, my God, did you see what this person's doing? Oh, my God, did you see what this person's doing? And you know what I say? Do you guys see what Jen is doing? I'm just trying to get you on track here because there's a lot of people. Oh, my God, well, so-and-so's doing this, and this guy's creating funnels, and then they got this and this going on, and then they got this and this going on. It's like, hey, this is who I'm following. Jenna's so smart, she takes her own leaders and does weeks of trainings in the matrix group of her own people. So now she's taken all her top super affiliates, 500 Ks, 250 Ks, and she does trainings with them. <laughs> you know, put them in all one area. Why would she want to ruin her reputation by having someone else do trainings in her escape the matrix? No, these are people that are documented. They know what they're doing. So 2.4 million. Is anyone anyone here made 2.4 million in three years? Raise your hand. I made over that in a year. See, I'll, this is what I want to follow. Now, here's another one that I want. I wonder if I just clicked on this, if it would show up. Tell me, Craig. Did that show up? There's a new listing there. Do it you looks like the same that? one. Does it say Jenna team stats? No, uh, no, it just says personal stats. Okay, hang on. Hang on, hang on. Let me go back into here. Did you guys see this post she posted too? There it is. Okay, so here's how you create vision. For some of you that want to think about why you need to focus in one thing and master one thing. Did you guys notice here that she's got 8,716 new affiliates so far this month that came in on her left side and 8,735 on her right side? Can anyone say balance? <laughs> How would you like to pull up your back off and see 8,700 new people came in on my left and 8,700 came in on my right? Does anyone, can you, can you imagine that? See, Albert Einstein says that the number one key is imagination. Why would I be showing you Jenna's back office? Because I look at it every day. Every time she posts it, I go in, I'm going to log into my back office and one day I'm going to see these numbers. So uh, listen, the best months I've had is like 600, 600 people came in in a, in, in a, a day. If you take 17,000, divide it by 21 days, she posted it yesterday. That's 860 some people coming in a day. So, do I have your attention? You know what I mean? So people will look at this and go, yeah, I, I, I don't get it. So, oh yeah, you can see the date at the bottom. She, you know, 2018, September 21st. So what I do is I grab screenshots like this. And because this is a video, let me make this quick disclaimer. All right. Disclaimer says the government says the FDA, the FTC, all of them say that I can't say that you can make this money. 
And the reason I can't say, I have to say that you can't make this money is because the government apparently has a plan that they're going to take care of you. All right. So I just got to say the chances of you making any money or having the product help you is impossible. So uh, I, 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 I don't know why the government says I got to say that to you, but hey, I, I said it to you. So uh, how many don't believe me? <laughs> so I wanted to I wanted to share this with you because, well, let me do one more. I, I, I think it's important to do one more here. Let me see here. All right. Uh, all right, all right, all right, all right. Sorry for the delay here, you guys. Um, can you guys see this? Yes, we got it. Okay, logging into my wife's spot here. How many people like the new changes that Josh keeps doing to the back office? Oh, man. So I'm following Jenna. So, oh, it wasn't dashboard. Okay. Um, let me go to team. Okay. So here's team. So can you guys see, I got to move stuff around here. So do you guys see how many active people, you know, so we got 1,100 coming in on this side, 1,700 on this side, total active customers, 1,256, 698. One team is really good at getting customers. The other side is focused on maybe just executives. I don't know. I'm just saying that, you know, so one team here is, so now you look at, Total volume, now look at 7,300 pre-enrollees. How many people are good at math? Sally still on here? So one side has 7,300 pre-enrollees and 585 new affiliates. So what's the closing ratio? Someone shout it out if they're good at math. About 8%. About 8%. And the other side only has 1,517 pre-enrollers, but 680 new affiliates and customers. What kind of closing ratio is that? That's about 40%. So 5% versus 40%, was that correct? So what do you think the two groups are doing different? <laughs> One side is heavily advertising and the other side is not. <laughs> this one here is actually, this side is actually connecting with people and following a system that when people get to know, like, and trust them, by the time they make a decision to upgrade, they know a proven system that they can follow. The other side, maybe a lot of people are not duplicating because they don't have the money to advertise. Pretty interesting, huh? Just a thought. Do both sides work? Hell yeah, they both work. So let me just click on one other part. I know you guys like this part. So there you go. So you guys seen, well, I guess I could have showed you, showed you that on dashboard. You know, so I think that Terry last month made, uh, uh, what was it? Uh, I got to move it. Okay. So there, 21,000. 21,000 for the month, last 30 days. So the only reason I showed you guys that is, is uh, let me go back to how do I stop share now? Do, do, do. There it is. Okay, so I didn't want this to go over an hour, but how many people see that I'm on track? 
So it took Jenna three years. She's one of the very first reps in MDC. They used to market sprays. Uh, we're just a little over a year with CBD. That's made a huge difference. You know, so Jenna did a video where she talked about her whole back office and really all their growth has happened in the last year. So then you got people like uh, Barb Miller and I think she did it in 14 months, Judy Stalin oh, less than a year. Uh, now the uh, Butlers did it less than a year. How many people can imagine hitting super affiliate in less than a year? This is usually, you guys, um, in normal companies, average companies, this takes four or five years to hit a position. A million dollars in freaking volume in less than a year? So it working here, it's working really, really good. How many people think that when Judy and Barb and, and Christine and Travis Butler came into MDC, how many of you think that they listened to Jenna? Or do you think they just said, screw you, Jenna, screw you, Josh, we're gonna just do our own thing. I just want that to click in. So I'm constantly, even though I've made 55 million, I'm constantly reaching out to Joss and Jenna. What are you doing? What do you think is working? I'll give you one thing that I just don't get people. Ask the right questions. So when I first found Josh, I said, Josh, what page are you guys using? What page gets the most conversion rate? He goes, HipWorks BizOp. And I went, <clears throat> you know what I think I'm gonna do? I think I'm actually gonna create a different funnel and a different video. And um, I'm gonna do my own kind of advertising. No. Melody, what page did I send you when you got in? HempWorks BizOp. Which one did you send up? Jenna, uh, Janessa. HempWorks BizOp. Oh my God. So people think I'm silly and stupid. So they say to me, Robert, this is not working. I just can't get it to work. And then I go over and I look at their Facebook profile and I scroll and I scroll and I scroll and I scroll and I scroll. I can't see one post of them talking about anything about MDC or hemp works. <laughs> it's like, yeah, this is just not working for me. And I go, there's not even one post. If you won't post your posts, why wouldn't you post Jenna's posts? Why wouldn't you post my posts? Well, if I post your post or Jenna's post and people will get in your group and not mine. Okay, I understand that your thinking is all effed up and I pray to God that one day you get over yourself. See, because they don't understand that they're still th doing stinking thinking. So why would I post Jenna's post? The same thing I did 31 years ago. I would reach out to Amy and say, Amy, listen, I'm a broke auto mechanic on workman's comp. I'm learning from this guy named Bill. He makes 62 grand a month. I seen his check attached to the stub. I'd like to introduce you to this guy. I'm learning directly from him. Would you like to see some of his free training? He's helped hundreds and thousands of people never work for anybody ever again. Well, what company is it? Listen, Amy, the last thing I wanna be responsible for is you not getting your dreams. So I don't know how to make a full-time income yet. So if you'll allow me just to be a tour guide and introduce you to a company that's blowing up, that helping people get rank advancements like crazy and hook you up with the right people in the company and let them show you what they're doing. I don't wanna mess this up, Amy. Is that, is that fair? Man, 
Did this help you guys at all? Listen, this business is so flippin' simple. But human beings do what human beings do. They complicate everything. So I hope I put this video together because people, con you know what the number one thing that people say to me all the time? I just don't know what to do. I, I just don't know what to do. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. No, 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 I don't. Then watch this video. I did a video that said 250K game plan. So go into search and put in 250K. And you guys go, wait a minute. Didn't Terry just hit that? Yeah, I did the game plan video before I hit the damn spot. What a concept. So people go, I just want to know how to do 5K right now. I, I just want to learn how to do 5K. Okay, 250,000 divided by five. Just do one fiftieth of what I say in that video. <laughs> <laughs> just, just, just take that video and only do one fiftieth it. Fiftieth of it. Wow, that was difficult for me to say. And that will leave me with the closing statement that I wanted to say. When I met my mentor, um, I went, I have no idea what this dude's background is. I don't know how long he's been in marketing and training and sales. I don't know if he went from one company to another. I don't know who his mentors and coaches were. But I seen he was making 62 grand. And I seen because he had pictures of him helping 20 some people hit 25K. Got it? So I went to myself, what if I can pick up 10% of what this guy's doing? See, if I'm just 10% of who he is, then that means that I'm going to make six grand. I'm going to get better. Kaizen, I'm going to get gooder and gooder. I'm going to every day get better and better and better. I just want to, I just want to, you know, not have to work for anybody again. So I followed instructions. I, I know I talked to three, 400 people. I got 72 people to watch the video. And out of the 72 people that watched the video, I got 13 people that got in. Seven of them got serious. I made $10,000 and hit 25K and 45 days. Now, here's where people mess up. What do you think I did the next month? The same thing. Here's where people mess up. Oh, I'm 5K, I'm 25K, I'm 10K. Now it's time for the Robert Show. No, it's not. It's still the bill show. So I taught my five people that hit 5K. I hit 25K. We did the same thing. I had five out of the seven go 25K the next month, and it pushed me to 125K. <gasps> Shut up! Is that how you really do the... Yeah, that's how you do the business. Did anyone get any value out of this? I'm doing the same thing as I've done before. So I just thought I would go, I'm tired of people saying to me, I don't know what to do. So now that I told you what to do, the other video and training that I have is how to find millions of people that are motivated, confident, they have money, they have a center of influence, and they have time. See, everyone that took the time to get on this video today, I just wanna find more of you. If you show up and stay plugged in, you're gonna get it. You guys catch that? You're, you're, you're gonna get it. If you just show up, stay plugged in, are we gonna get distracted? Did you notice that I used the word, are we? I didn't say, are you? I said, are we? Do I get distracted? all the time. 
Sometimes I got other things that I need to do. My new book coming out, okay? <laughs> we'll be out pretty soon. Just hang on, shackled to freedom. You know what I mean? So um, yeah, I got other things. I got other businesses. I got a family. I got puppies. I, I got a wife to keep happy. I got a lot of things going on too. So sometimes we get distracted. And I think about what to do. And I always go back to the basics. I just go back to what got us to 5K, what got us to 10K, what got us to 25K. I know that if I have four lines, I now have three lines of 50Ks. Aaron and Kathy, 150K, the Papas, Andra and Tammy, 50K, Emily and Kurt, 50K. What, what, what would how, how can I get to super affiliate? I know what, I can beat up on you guys. No, no. I can go find more people. See what I mean? I don't mind having 4,000. I think in the active, if you guys seen, Terry's got 4,700 active affiliates. In six months, that's crazy. So I'm gonna keep doing this. And I got the people, don't get mad at me. I got people, yeah, but I'm listening to this person and I'm listening to this person and we're doing this and we're got a Frankenstein business. All I'm gonna ask you is someone show Melody, what's, what's my other book called? How's that working? Okay. How many, how many of you understand this one thing? If you're not watching your volume go from a thousand to 2,000, to 3,000, to 4,000, to 5,000. I hit 5K. If you don't see a constant growth within your group, you're not doing this correctly. Can I get an amen? You should see a constant this. If you see this and then it flattens, it means that 95% of the people that are in your group cannot do what you're doing. They can't, they don't. So everyone goes, well, I think I'm gonna do this. Can your whole group do it? No. So then you tell everybody, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do um, Google AdWords and YouTube advertising and I'm going to build my own group. And everybody goes, I, I, I had one guy right before I got on here. He goes, I don't have any money for advertising. Zero. I go, did you watch this video? How to find millions of people that are interested in what you're doing? No, I haven't watched that video. How long you been in? Oh, I've been in two months. Congratulations. Me, I'm the opposite. It's like, hey, um, can you do a brake job on my car? Yeah. Uh, I guess it's under the tires. I, um, I'm guessing. I would, I would jump on YouTube. How to do a brake job on a. 2000 Taurus, Ford Taurus. I would freaking take the time to figure out what it takes to do the damn job before I ever went into the job. What do other people do? I don't know. I would just wouldn't want them working on my car. <laughs> so people get in marketing and they've never made $100,000 in six months. And so they jump in and they go, you know, well, I've been in marketing and I got this course and I was with this company and I learned from this upline and I got a little course over here. And then, you know, I'm also involved in this group and I'm also doing this and I'm also doing that. And then they jump in 
and they got a Frankenstein business. They're doing about 20 different things, all awful. They haven't mastered one. And then they wonder why no one in their group is doing anything. That should not be, uh, you shouldn't have to wonder why your group's not growing. They're watching you and you don't have a clear path. Step one, two, three, and four for them to follow. You don't. So in closing, if you do know what to do and you go, Robert, oh, I do know what to do. What's the problem? I don't know. I don't know. I'm stuck. Um, I'm scared. I don't know what people are going to say. I, I, I could never do a Facebook live. I'm, 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 I'm scared to post on my personal profile. I don't want Jim, Joe, Bob, my cousin's girlfriend has a friend. And I, I don't want her to think that I'm in the cannabis business. And it's like, okay, okay, okay. I get it. I get it. Knowing what to do and then not doing it. But watch this. If you didn't believe or want to do it, then you probably are not watching the videos. Did you guys catch that? Why I watch the training videos is because it inspires me. Oh my God, is this all he does? This is stupid. I could do that. Now that you know what to do, if you're not doing it, then it's just the thinking between your ears. Now you know, wow, I got to work on me. I Oh, did I give you a care package? I did give you a care package. So you can go through science to getting rich. You can work on the stinking thinking. You can get your beliefs to believe that you can do it. When I look at Jenna's back office and everyone that knows me, I've done this for 31 years. One day I will do a video very soon. I'm going to challenge myself. It will be within a year. Within a year that I will do a screenshot of my back office and it'll be close to, close to uh, Jenna's, if not bigger. Why? Because every day I look at it and I'm going, how do I hit these numbers? What do I got to do to hit these numbers? And here's what some of you don't get. I just keep doing the same stuff over and over again. I mastered the mundane. Robert, how do you, how'd you find Tara? How'd you find this new girl that's on the board? Oh, I reached out to her on Facebook. I added her to the group. I gave her some free gifts. I sent her a tour link. Yeah, you guys, I do the same thing. And here's what no one wants to believe. They think that I'm doing something other than what I'm teaching. <laughs> Bizarre. <laughs> How many people know that I get paid off you if you do something? Raise your hand. If you understand the comp plan well enough that if you make 5K, I make money, okay? Then why wouldn't I show you how to hit 5K? I'm not hiding anything. So in closing, if you got to work on your mindset, work on your mindset. You know, work on, you know, the greatest miracle in the world, which is you. If no one's giving you permission to succeed in life, let me be the first. But if every day you get up, every day you get up in the morning and you're not jacked out of your mind on how to make that back office look like mine or Terry's or look like Jenna's, then you got to fix this. You got to fix your heart. Then once you get it, a lot of people don't get this point. Do you know that once you believe in your abilities to do anything, if someone else is doing it, I can do it. For those of you that are confessed Christians, did you notice how I said that? God did not bless me and decide not to bless you. God's not a discerner of persons. He gave me the path to follow if you follow the same path, you will get the same results. You're the same miracle. So some people still have that belief out there. Well, you know, 
my religion and my belief believes that, you know, it's not for me. Wow. You need to work more on that than you ever did. So every religion in the planet says one thing. Put me first. Follow a proven path and follow people that have documentation. I say documentation beats conversation. The scripture said, you'll know my people by their fruit. I can't put a patent on that. <laughs> so uh, Jim Rowan said it differently. Success leaves clues. Happiness leaves clues, right? So if you say to somebody, hey, Melody, listen, I was thinking about hiring you as a coach, but I just watched this video. And Robert said that if I don't learn from somebody that's documented in helping other people, not to listen to them. So Melody, is there anybody that you've helped hit 5K? Absolutely. Oh, really? Who? Janessa. Janessa, are you here? Where are you, Janessa? <laughs> See what I mean? So, hi, Janessa. Janessa, did Melody help you hit 5K? Just over 30 days. Over 30 days? What What is the most you've made in a week? Um, I think it was about $900. But over 1000 in Canada. <laughs> um, how many people want to learn how to make $1,000 a week? Raise their hand. Now, I'm not going to beat up anyone here, but I want you guys to get the point. Janessa, have you helped anyone hit 5K? No. No. Okay. Um, should I listen to Melody then? Yes. Did you guys catch that? So if you guys know Janessa and you meet Janessa anywhere, any place, she's constantly pointing to someone that helped her get it. Janessa can help you in a lot of other ways. Watch this. Janessa, um, I'm watching this. Melody, do you know how to train serv service dogs? No. Do you know anybody that can do that? My friend Janessa, she, oh, that's what she does. Oh, oh. Are you guys catching this? It's just, so I, you guys can see I'm passionate about this subject, but do yourself a favor and stop following and stop doing things that are not documented. Stop it. Stop it. So one last thing, I keep saying one last thing. Um, if what you're doing is not getting results, can you please find a coach that knows how to help other people do it and say, what am I doing wrong? What am I, what, what am I doing wrong? See, because if you think that you're doing it right, you can work really, 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 really hard. And you can contact a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of people. And if you're not getting right results, then you're doing something just a little wrong. And it only has to take one thing. So it's like, well, the first thing that they said you're supposed to do is take this great big giant screwdriver and you're supposed to get between the caliper and the piston and the brakes. And you're supposed to push it back to push the brake fluid in the, you know, the brake reservoir before you disconnect it. I tried, I can't find where the caliper is. Um, what was the first instructions? I don't know. I don't know. Well, the first instructions said that you're supposed to loosen the lug nuts, then jack up the car and then take the tire off. I, you don't know how busy I am. Oh my God, I don't have time to watch videos. And when I do watch videos, I'm distracted. Yeah, but you didn't follow the first two steps, so you never got to the caliper. Are you guys getting this? I'm sorry I get so passionate. But 
people skip the first two steps and they're not doing what they're supposed to be doing. They're not. Or people are saying, okay, I did that step. But look, it looks nothing like the picture. You're supposed to take off the front wheel, not the back wheel. <laughs> oh, oh, the, the calipers are up front. Yes, they are. Yeah, yes, they are. So if you guys look at anything else from dancing to martial arts to singing, everything, it has a certain way. That's why I love the science of getting rich. It's cool to know the combination to the save. You know, 16, 34, 18. But you need more info. Do I go left first? What numbers first? Do I go left, right, left? No, you go left, left, then right. Whoa. If I didn't know that, would I get the safe open? No. <laughs> but you don't know how hard I'm trying. You can try hard. And that's why people get upset because we are competitive people, right? So all of a sudden we see Ron Deering. Is Ron Deering still on here? Ron, where are you? I'm here. So see, what we do is we see Ron come in and Ron's got some experience. Ron's been in marketing longer than me. But because he's got that experience, when he stepped in, he goes, what's the combination? Here's the combination. Okay, what's the sequence? So you guys get a little upset when you see Ron go over and he goes, zit, 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 opens up the safe, wham, 5K, 10K, going 25K. And see, and you guys go, that's not fair. And all you, all you don't get is that Ron slowed down to watch the videos. Ron sending me messages almost on a weekly basis. Oh my God, this thing I learned in your prisoner. Oh, this thing that I learned in the professor. Oh, this thing I, Ron is a student. He's constantly, wow, look at this video. Wow, look at this video. Wow, look at this video. So. Ron gets up every day and goes, I better get some training in me and get motivated and apply it. And most people on the planet that are broke, miserable, and unhealthy, just try it without going through the instructions. Wow, I am done now. So I know God's not a discerner of persons. If no one's giving you permission to succeed in life, let me be the first. I know you can do this. And here's the thing that I want to share with every one of you of why I'm so passionate. Why I'm, I, I, I'm just watching this company. Last year, they had 200 people at a convention. They sold out the convention way before the event. Over 2,000 tickets pre-sold. They grew by 10 times in one year. The company, well, wait a minute. Jenna's group by, grew by 10 times. The Butler's group grew by 10 times. The Miller's group grew by 10 times. The Sterling group grew, grew by 10 times. Right now, this company is in wide open growth, momentum, growing 10 times. I think the volume of the company grew by 700%. We see all these ads out there. We see all these publications out there. You know, October 17th, Canada will be the second country in the world to legalize recreational use of marijuana in the whole damn country, world. They're setting themselves up to be the CBD, hemp, cannabis, and marijuana supplier of the entire world. Right before I got on here, people were trying to get a uh, clarification of this. But right now, before the end of month, September, oh my God, it's the 22nd, they're going to pass the hemp bill for 2018. In that, CBD 
will be wide open and be educated. Everyone will have it. Montana is the fourth largest state for the marketing of hemp. If you guys don't see where this is going, please figure that out. But here's the last thing I want you guys to understand. If you guys will invest your time, which is valuable, you can't get it back, and your money with me, please don't get mad at me for trying to push you. This train, this ship, this rocket ship, it's picking up speed like crazy. And some of you are never gonna wanna say, wow, I watched an old video of Robert when Melody first got into hemp work six months ago. And I seen you on the video. What the hell is wrong with you? Well, I was a little busy back then. Uh, what? You guys don't know that I got videos of you guys. And people are gonna see them and they're gonna go, what? This will go down in history, trust me when I say this, as one of the largest shifts of wealth and power that the earth has ever experienced. No doubt. You will look back at this time three years from now and go, holy crap. Don't miss it. Don't miss it, okay? So I know that you can do it. I, I'm an expert, 31 years. I know that you can do this. If you follow the simple steps, you will get it. I believe in you. I love you. Thank you very much and have a blessed weekend. Melody, back to you. Holy moly, what a great, what a phenomenal training. I think, Robert, there are, no, yeah, I was thinking, Sometimes Robert does um, Q and A's. There are no questions after this training. They've all been answered. It's phenomenal. And I am just so glad that you let this continue to go live in the vision team. So incredible. Um, for those of you who are in the advanced class, we will see you on Tuesdays. If you're not in the, the, the master classes for the advanced, those are on Tuesdays. Check it out at roberthollis.com forward slash masterclass and have an incredible weekend, guys. You know, there, you have no excuse now. Robert has given us every tool that we need. And I, I know Robert believes in you. I believe in you. Go out and make this happen. God bless. God bless. Thank you for the new people watching and those on Vision Team. Thank you, Craig. Thank you, Chelsea, for being co-hosts as well. And Melody, I love and appreciate you so much. Bye-bye, everyone. See you soon. Bye-bye. Thank you, Chelsea. Thank you, Craig. You're amazing.